show you how to select an object in a photo, keep that object sharp, and blur the background around and behind it. Okay, so what we're going to do with this particular photo is keep this central lemon nice and sharp and blur everything else to de-emphasize it. All right, so the first thing we can do is we can click on view, fit on screen to get a nice full view of the image. All right, and then uh, we want to select the lemon. Now one great way to do that is uh, the third tool from the top here. If you click and hold and go to the polygonal lasso tool, right, you can click point by point around the edge of the lemon. This is a great exact way to do a selection. There are other selection tools that will help you uh, select by edge detection or by color etc. but um, sometimes what your eye sees is going to give you the best results. So I'll show you with this tool here but of course in your circumstances and depending on your level of experience with other selection techniques you can use those. The main idea is just to get it selected here. So we're almost done. When I click on the first point, that will close the selection. We'll see that in a moment. Okay, so there we go. That's our selection. And uh, there's a couple of things you can do. Um, if you want to keep a very hard edge, you can leave the selection just like this. But uh, one thing that we can try here is if we go to Select, and we say refine edge right you'll see that you get a preview here and what we want to do is feather you'll see that the preview bleeds out here okay so this way we'll get a more uh, soft transition between sharpness there and we can also shift the edge if we wanted to pull it in or to pull it out All right so let's pull it out a bit so that the edge of the lemon itself still remains sharp but we still get the soft softness around there so we've used the feathering and the shift edge and we'll click OK for that Okay, and that's what our final selection looks like in, in the selection mode there. And um, essentially at this point we can go back to select and click on inverse which will, uh, you'll see the uh, selection now extends around the lemon as opposed to selecting the lemon. We're now selecting everything but. We've just inverted that whole selection and we can go to filter blur and there's various uh, choices here but let's give the Gaussian blur a try here and if we pull that the pixel level up, the, the radius we can see how the background behind the lemon blurs and to get rid of the selection we can say deselect and there is our sharp lemon with the rest blurred now you know depending on uh, you know edge effects and everything that you want you can make finer adjustments to that but that is uh, one basic technique for doing this kind of work now th there's other things uh, show you one more bit we could do here if we go to history and go back to that original selection the sharp one all right if we say edit copy and then 
right away without doing any other bits we say edit paste what we've now done is we've pasted a copy of the lemon on top of itself and we can if we go back to our layers palette here and if we check off the background we can see that that's the copy showing on layer one here we can turn that on and off but um, that has basically isolated uh, the lemon so that we can do whatever we like behind it to get a different kind of an effect all right so let's say if we want to right click on the background here and say duplicate layer that gives us a copy that we can work with without destroying the original now if we make sure that layer there is selected then we could go into say adjustments here say hue and saturation and we can pull our saturation down right which you may want to go all the way to black and white which is very stark right or you may just want to pull it pull it down a bit so that everything else is de-emphasized enough <coughs> excuse me without losing their their full original color all right so that's another way without actually blurring it we can de-emphasize it in this way it's kind of like bur blurring uh, the color intensity bring it down click OK and then uh, in a more subtle way the lemon is standing out that's two techniques for blurring out your background uh, if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe to my YouTube channel thank you kindly